Hi, and welcome to the Beko Lounge. Hang on. A little different today. So welcome to the Beko Lounge because today, Duty, you're not the one being interview being the interviewer. You're the interviewee. So welcome to the Beko Lounge. And uh, today, I'm Tanya Solomon, and I'm uh, I'm going to be interviewing Duty Cohen, who is our VP Product Marketing. And Duty, there's a question that I've wanted to ask you. In fact, I've already asked you several times, but now I want to do it on camera. Duty, with so many different strategic aspects for mobile operators to take into consideration when they're planning their networks, why should wireless backhaul be something they take note of? Yeah, so this is a great uh, question, Tanya. Thank you. Uh, and indeed, there are lots and lots of uh, elements and parameters to take into consideration when you build a network, when you maintain a network, when you optimize a network. And th the three main domains, I think, in all mobile networks is the core network, the access network, the radio access network in our case, the RAN, and the transport network that connects the RAN to the core. So basically, when you deploy a network and you deploy, for instance, new sites, service will not be established unless you connect those sites to the core because you need continuity in the way the data flow uh, in and out of the core and to the end devices. And this connectivity uh, turns out to be a very a uh, non-trivial task. For instance, if you deploy new sites in areas in which you do not have fiber uh, installed, you need a way to very quickly and efficiently connect those sites to the core. And this is the backhaul part, and, and if it would not uh, have the necessary attention, you might uh, be lagging behind your plans to deploy, or uh, you might not meet the SLA targets, the quality of service targets you uh, plan for your customers. So what you're saying is wireless backhaul basically has an impact on, on my entire network. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. So now, um, let me ask you this. So now with 5G deployments, Anything changes there? Is there a greater impact? What, what happens there? Well, actually, yes, because uh, when talking about 4G, we, we uh, established the understanding that uh, backhaul or connectivity or transport is, is a strategic decision and you need to pay attention. But when you go to 4, 5G, it is even more important because in 5G, there's like a paradigm shift in the way we build networks. Specifically, when we talk about base stations, you know, G node Bs in 5G, uh, which are the evolution of E node Bs in LTE, you uh, build them differently. You now have some parts of the base station that you used to always have in the same site, like CU, DU, and RU, the, the baseband unit and the radio unit were usually located in the same site and the connectivity between them was a matter of internal cabling. Now there are more and more cases in which you want to distribute the radio units to remote locations and we've talked about it in previous blogs and videos. And this makes the transport layer, the, the hauling layer, because we're talking about back hall, middle and front hall now, much more uh, crucial and critical for deploying the net these networks. Actually, when we talk to mobile operators engineering team and even the radio access network engineers, they say, hey, we, we see ourselves also as transport engineers now because we have to make sure that the different building blocks within our domain are connected and it's not, not a matter of local cabling anymore. And this is why transport hauling, uh, wireless hauling is even more dominant and, and needs more attention when you go to 5G. Wow. So now let me ask you this, are all wireless backhaul solutions created equal? The answer is no, because despite common belief that uh, backhaul is some kind of commodity and you see one, you see them all, there are uh, lots of differences and especially when you go to 5G and start to face uh, new challenges like deploying uh, more sites uh, in a fast manner, uh, having higher capacity, having low, low latency, having the flexibility to tackle all those challenges, you need to go to a, a wireless backhaul or wireless hauling solution that offers you an enormous amount of flexibility. And, and in this manner, not all hauling solutions were made uh, the same. 
and you have solutions like the Theragon solution that offers you disaggregated hauling. That means that you can pick the right element for each uh, domain or each network or networking scenario in your network. And you have the flexibility and the scalability and the cost efficiency. And eventually it translates to the bottom line because you can deploy faster, you can have faster time to revenues, and also uh, you reduce your total cost of ownership so you have better operational efficiency this is dramatic when you deploy a large-scale network uh, so you need to focus on finding the right solution that will give you this flexibility and scalability and cost efficiency so your business case will uh, survive Wow so there you have it wireless backhaul a strategic part of planning your network thank you duty I appreciate the time it's great thank you for having me and next time I'm going back to this chair <laughs> all yours. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.